hello friends what's up this is anupam here this is my first uh, video on my uh, upcoming video series on uh, data science with python uh, as you all know that data science with python has uh, two um, two parts one is data manipulation and other one is machine learning where you basically uh, predict uh, the outcome uh, through uh, supervised learning and uh, uh, so uh, so so i will have a uh, two uh, video series uh, one with data manipulation in python and another one with will be on machine learning in data manipulation with python i will be you know i will be sharing uh, various tips and techniques uh, for filtering the data merging the data how to work with dates in python what are the you know um, strings method in in python and how to compare the two data sets within python and in my other video series uh, which is on machine learning i will be sharing my uh, my understanding on the gradient descent how it works and its implications on the gradient boosting machines uh, which is uh, popularly called a gbm and then uh, also i will be covering random forest and various uh, other uh, uh, machine learning techniques so uh, so let's start with the first video so the first video will be on the filtering the data through in python so as you can see here you need to import two libraries uh, uh, which is numpy and pandas which is i have imported by running this cell uh, other thing that i am now i'm using this airports.csv data set uh, data set and uh, the important thing to note here is that i have used r here so r basically means that it will consider the everything here this path here as a raw string so 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 if you do not use r, r here let's see what happens if you do not use r it will show an error because python backslashes in python are special characters like uh, asterisks and all that so this will throw an error so you have to use r here other method that you can you here use to you know to to bypass this error is use a double slash so so if you use the double slash so double slash is basically an escape character in python so what it tells python is that the 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 slash which comes after this slash after the slash is should not be considered as an special character so so uh, in total your everything will be considered as an string if you use double slash but uh, i i usually prefer to use uh, use r because it is it is basically easy for me so i will just uh, remove this thing and i will just import i will just sorry i will just uh, import the data set uh, other thing that is good thing in python is that there is called head method where you can just run it df dot head and you can see uh, the first five rows of the data set which will give you the feel of the data how the data works and uh, how the data is what are various variables etc now i will come to the filtering method so there are basically many methods that can be used for filtering so first one is a boolean method so boolean method is basically why it is called boolean method is because if you for example if you for example i'll just so for example i will copy this row and i will just if i only have this thing okay if i wanted to know okay so it will it will give me all the it will from airport 
uh, variable it will give me all the rows where this value is true or false so as you can see here the only the first value is true other values are almost coming false here so this is called the boolean method because it gives you the true and false right if you want to get the data set out of this which values are uh, only those rows which are true which means which has airport uh, named as Livingston Municipal you can just put data set outside here like I have done right just put data set outside name of the data set outside and it will select all the rows which have only airport named as Livingston Municipal so you can just see you can see there are only two rows where the, this airport is named as Livingston Municipal uh, why it, uh, this is also called the masking method also because uh, you know the, because it's also called the masking method because once you remove this thing it, everything will be masked masked and you can just see true and false method here yeah. uh, other thing is that if you want to use uh, two conditions here like I have used like okay DF where airport is the Livingston municipal and city is Livingston so if you run it okay it will show you where the airport is Livingston Municipal and city is Livingston but there is a catch here what happens when you do not put do not put the um, this okay you think okay it will should work but it will throw an error it is saying that cannot compare a D typed array with a scalar type boolean so to remove this here you have to put a, a parenthesis within each for each condition which basically tells you that uh, each condition is separate and it should not be compared right so okay so you you, you have that okay this is error here okay yeah so you can got it now other thing what happens so so what happens here is uh, okay so this is the same method boolean indexing method you run it and you get the thing so the boolean indexing method work like this if you run only this thing it will give you a boolean index of true and false false for getting the complete data and the rows where it is true for this particular condition you have to put the name of the data set here before the brackets other very important and very intuitive method is the SQL method what you do you just put df dot query and in brackets you put yeah okay uh, you put like you know this in quotes city where city is is equal to Perry right got it now the other important thing that you have to note here is that whenever you are using a character right like you know city names and uh, um, you know anything like you know if you are putting it in state and everything then you have to put it into a single quote marks okay so what you do you just say okay where the df dot query where city is equal to base spring okay you put it in you know, into a, into a quotes and double quotes and your uh, character will be in should be in in single quotes other is the is in method is in method is also a kind of boolean method uh, where you where you can put multiple conditions in it so for example if I remove this thing let me show you show you that it is a boolean method insert cell insert below okay yeah okay yeah this thing I will just remove this thing right uh, 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 yeah okay
okay c it is also a boolean method method but the only thing is that you can put the the uh, like you know whatever condition you want you can put is in is in method so it will check whether the in df in uh, this variable city whether this livingston and perry are there or not so it will show you true true false false true true false false all that all that for so it will show you that particular so this is the this so so this is basically the the variables where the value is true for Livingston and true for Perry other than it is false if you want to get the comp complete data set you have to put again like above you have to put the DF outside the uh, square brackets and once you run it you once you run it you can get the complete data set this is a one another method other very uh, important other very uh, the other method is that you can use the set index method so in in the set index matter what set index matter oh, I'm sorry so in set index matter uh, method the what it does is that once you so for example here I have specified the city as an index right so what it does is that is this so it will on the like here it is coming 0 1 2 3 4 right so it will put city if, if I specify city in the index so it will put city in in this place so what you can do after that once you have put the set index method you can just use the df dot alloc and then you can just specify, specify what you want from city right what rows you want right so you can just specify the city name city name and it will throw you the rows which have those city names so for example here okay I have specified the DF which is a set index and I have uh, specified okay now we'll run it you see here what happens right so so city is set as an index index uh, means that it's an it's it's an uh, you know identifier right okay for the data set, uh, for for this particular data it's an identifier which says that okay okay as in place of one two three four the city has come now what you can do you can just specify the loc method you can just say loc and then you just say what rows you want in this particular index so if it is has so as I have spe specified here it is if it is has Perry it will come out these rows will be selected so you see here here right all the Perry has been selected to going back okay once you have selected everything okay once you're going back you can just say reset index and everything will be the same again you see here right so all the city has been selected all the all the city with Perry has been selected here and the reset has and the index has been moved to the normal 0 1 2 3 you can now uh, you know just uh, assign it to some other data set okay that's all done so now this data set df2 I have created now it has only the the rows where the city is parry so that's all for now guys uh, thanks for watching this video if you like this video if you think it is a uh, useful for uh, for your work or for your knowledge then you please like it and if you like if you want to subscribe please 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 sus subscribe it please encourage me and please share your comments uh, comments it will be helpful for me to further enhance my skills. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye.